We've got more of your questions to be answered right now with Richard Weber over at Springhouse Gardens. Those questions you submitted to Ask Amber at BluegrassHG.TV. You know, it's fall and I would have thought that we would not have a lot of questions about roses because mm -hmm. I don't typically myself think of fall and roses going hand in hand, but obviously they do and obviously everybody well, out there knows it. Everybody loves roses. Absolutely. Lots of questions here. Krista from Owingsville says, why are my roses dying? That could be a number of things. Either they're um, in too much shade, uh, maybe not well enough uh, drained soil. They really need good soil drainage. They don't like wet feet. So they could be just getting too much water uh, or the shade. Those are the two main reasons. Okay. Or maybe they're just not hardy varieties to begin with. Okay. So that could be uh, that she needs to do a little more investigation. All right. Nancy right here in Lexington says, should you cut back your knockout roses? Um, it depends on, these are knockouts behind us. Knockouts um, can get very, very large. So some people don't mind a rose that gets eight or 10 feet tall. So the question is, should you cut them back? It's really up to where you have them planted. Uh, most people prefer them to be in that three to four foot range. Right. So you will have to cut them back. And you can either do a light trim on them in the fall, like right now, or, or uh, when they stop blooming and stop um, growing, or you can wait until March. I prefer to wait until March okay. to do a, and you can cut them back as severely as you'd like. Some people can cut them, you can cut them all the way back to a foot from the ground. Um, most people don't want to be that drastic. You can come anywhere from, you know, a foot back to three or four foot back. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Okay. And then we have a question from Frankfurt that says, which rose bush is the best to grow outside our home that does not require a lot of care? Well, that's a great segue because the knockouts are very easy. They're, they're the number one uh, rose that people are planting, but they are, people are realizing that they do take a lot of maintenance. So uh, we're selling a lot more okay. of these very dwarf roses. These are drift roses. The reason I like these better is they're not going to get as big as a knockout. These will top out between okay. two and three feet tall. So look for the whole drift series like of those. roses. They're smaller flowers. They are very Ooh. fragrant mm, uh, and they come great. in a much wider variety of colors than the knockouts. So look for the drifts. Um, they seem to be one of the lowest maintenance roses that there okay. are. Okay, Got to put that on your list of things to get. Gail from Lancaster says, how do I winterize my rose bushes? Okay, knockouts and drifts are landscape roses. They're very, very tough. You don't have to do anything special to those. Okay. If she's got hybrid teas, then what you need to do is protect that graft union, which means mounding up the soil with either pine bark, pine mulch, uh, pine needles, or leaves. And you have to cover that graft up protect it from the winter and then uncover that in the spring. All right, well, let's yeah. just tell people how they can get a hold of you. You can give us a call at Springhouse Gardens at 224-1417 or look us up on the web at springhousegardens.com.